Welcome to today's <laughs> video. We what? are going to be doing something kind of fun in preparation to preparation. go to the hospital. So what we did talk about we gotta prepare oh. for baby brother to be born. Okay. So I need to get my hospital bag ready. Okay. How many likes do you think we should get on this video? Twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five thousand likes. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll see if they can do it. You ready to get started? I think they can do it. You do? Yeah. All right. Let's get this video started. Kevin Dunn can pull us apart Oh forever let's run under a million stars Oh together you won't ever be alone Forever, yeah we'll always be your home Okay, so that is right. I packed my hospital bag today and I am so excited to show you what I decided to put in there. I was feeling a little bit anxious, like I need to get this done because I literally am at the point now where I could have the baby anytime. You never know, so I just wanna be prepared and ready. Let's go see what's inside. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to show you guys in my bag is my Ritual Prenatal Vitamins. I've been taking these for a while now and I am loving them. You just have to take two a day and and you don't have to take it with food because they have like a slow capsule release. So I've been really enjoying taking these prenatal vitamins and you guys should definitely check them out. Thank you so much to Ritual for sponsoring today's video. Some other things that I really like about Ritual is that it is made by women for women. So they looked for the ingredients that we need that we don't always get with the food we eat because let's face it, I definitely don't have like the healthiest diet. So I definitely have been really thankful for Ritual for helping me kind of get all of the rest of the nutrients that I need. And they're also hooking you guys up for their subscription. You can get 10% off for the first three months using my promo code. I'll have it up on the screen. And I'll also leave it linked in the description box below. So you should definitely take advantage of that 10% off for the first three months because you will love it. They have prenatals, but they also have multivitamins as well. So I'm definitely taking these with me to the hospital, but I'm gonna also continue to take them until I go to the hospital. So I'm putting that in my bag and let's Let's see what else is in here. I got my face mask, you guys. <laughs> face mask. Well, I'm excited to go to the hospital too, and I'm excited because in a little bit, I'm gonna be learning uh, some things that is gonna be really funny for you guys. But yeah, we got face masks, you guys, and thankfully my mom had some extra ones because I heard they're sold out, so we definitely got that covered got in the hospital bag. We got a couple face masks in the hospital bag because I do have to enter, when I called the hospital, they said I have to enter through the ER, so we just wanna try and like keep us safe and healthy. So got those in my bag. The next thing I have is my iPad. So just in case I need some entertainment and then also- I mean, I, I'm gonna be there, so like uh, I could definitely do the entertainment part. Also, my mom was saying that she's hoping that we'll FaceTime her on the iPad so that she can kind of be a part Let's of the see. experience and she can't go with us yeah. to the hospital. Comfy socks, you guys. When you're walking around the hospital and it's cold, floors, you want comfy socks. I have my nursing sports top, some PJs. I have an outfit for when we go home. So I think I have all of my stuff kind of covered. Oh, I had to bring a charger, a really long, long charger. I've got all my toiletries in here packed, shampoo, conditioner, toothpaste, toothbrush, all of that kind of fun stuff that I'm gonna need. Do I pack a hospital bag? Is that something that I do as the, the dad? Well, I guess you probably, I mean, you can use all of the stuff that I packed. No, except I can't, for maybe I can't like use these clothes well, and your you toiletries. And, I mean, I, I feel like I'm gonna have to have my own hospital bag. Is that weird? Is that weird to have my own hospital bag? We've expressed this to you before that talking about possibly doing home birth um, and possibly not doing home birth and going to the hospital. As of now, we're gonna do the hospital thing. Um, but if you guys don't know what's going on, we can only have me in the labor and delivery and during the entire time. There can only be myself in there. So the process of going out of the hospital, back into the hospital, out of the hospital, back into the hospital, we have no idea what that would look like. So you probably so I feel like I should. You need to pack a dad bag. Oh, I like that. A dad bag. Dad bag. Which has probably one outfit and I would say your toothbrush because you can use the rest of my toiletries. Well, what about like fun activities for me? Should I bring like board games for us? <laughs> it's so funny because we we literally haven't like gone through this process in so long. I have no idea what to expect. 
which sounds weird because I already have two children, but I just, I have no idea what to expect. Okay, so I gotta get a dad swag bag. Dad bag. I wanna show the baby stuff. Okay. Okay. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> I we think actually need to prepare the baby stuff. We're gonna come home with a baby, so we need to have- We're coming home with a baby! I picked out a couple little cute outfits that I have. A little like sleeper with like a bib. A couple little like little onesie with pants. You guys look at how cute. I'm just gonna rest it here on my tummy. And it's like a little matching <laughs> beanie. Cute. Typically it's just one to two days. So I have all of his stuff ready to go. That's awesome. So fun. And then I have a couple other little things that I have in here for me, lotion and this. Do we need to pack like snacks? I guess I can go get snacks, huh? Yeah, I did read a thing that said to pack like different snacks and like drinks and stuff, but they'll have food at the hospital too, so. Okay, so Natalia's mom is on her way over here and we are going to be doing uh, some fun activities. We have just a few days, maybe a week, maybe two weeks left until baby gets here and I need to be prepared. So she's gonna come over here and let's get to it. Natalia's mom is here. Say hi to Judy. She's not happy about that at all. She's actually tried to convince me and Natalia to um, have me, <laughs> me not go and have her go because she's been at all of the pregnancies. And this would be your what? Well, that I've been in, this will be the seventh, but now I will. But you've done, how many have you helped yeah, out? This is my 10th grandkid. 10th grandkid, but you've I've helped out a ton, right? Seven. She's actually been um, the one that's helped me and Nataya for both of our kids and her other grandkids and all that and other people too. She's gonna train us, train me, on what to prepare for because she's not gonna be able to be there and I'm gonna have to do this all by myself. The very first thing you need to do is you all need to lay hands on her and pray. Okay. <laughs> Before it gets hard. Okay. Out loud so she can hear you guys praying for her. That's the very first most important thing of all. Okay. Then, <laughs> the next thing is you need to start timing and logging the time when one starts. How long it lasts is one thing you time. Each contraction, how long they last. But when one starts and when the next one starts. Got it. There's all, yeah, it's all about the timing. There's a lot that's gonna ha happen. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna do a simulator of how to do it, girls, okay? So let's pretend right now that baby brother is starting to give mommy some contractions and it's seven o'clock because you guys are still awake at seven o'clock, okay? So it's seven o'clock and mom's gonna have a contraction. Let's see how we handle this. Wow, guys, um, baby brother's due date just came and mom seems like she's doing pretty well. I mean, she hasn't had any real contractions or there's nothing, nothing really serious has been happening, huh? Oh no, game time, let's go! <laughs> Get it, get a piece of paper! Hurry, hurry, hurry! Meet us there! What are you doing? She's starting to have contractions. What do you got? You got the paper? You got a whiteboard? How are you feeling? Oh my gosh. That one's okay, already that one's passed. Done. I'll wait. <laughs> we already failed, you guys. All right, let's try that again. Okay, so, you know, it's been pretty good. Like, it's a normal day. Normal day, nothing's been happening. Like, yeah. we're waiting for baby to... Okay, let's go, game time! Come on, I got the stopwatch. Okay, here we go, stopwatch is started. Go see what time it is. It's three what? Three, three, three. Okay, three. Yep. Okay, how's the contraction going? Okay. Stopwatch is still going. We're at 13, 14, 15 seconds. Here we go, come on. How you doing? Doing pretty good. Yeah? Not you look like it doesn't good. even hurt. <laughs> She's still smiling, then we're they're good. Okay, now it's over. Okay, we're at a 28 second. What time is it? 28, 49. Okay, and that one started at 333. That's what we need to do, right? Yep. Okay. So that's round one. So now we gotta make sure that we know when she's gonna have the next contraction is gonna be on uh, the second time, okay? So 29 seconds long, that one's not hard enough. You're not close. So we just you freaked know, out for that nothing. That means I have a long, long time, time before. Oh my and gosh. And typically- I'm already winded though, like that was just- Typically when you're, you know, like in labor, you don't want like a bunch of stressed out people around. So, <laughs> so we need to calm it down this next so round. So just like chill. Okay, okay. So round three. We, we learned some things on round one. Round two, we need to calm things down. So round three, we're trying to nail it this time, okay? Let's try it. Round three, you girls ready? Yeah. <sighs> All right, guys. It's so, been a normal day. It's been a normal day. You know, we're trying, we're just waiting for baby brother to get here. And you know, we've been we've been practicing some things. And, yeah. You know, it's uh, it's been pretty good, you know, here at the house. We're waiting yeah. For, yeah. for baby bro to get here. Nothing's uh, happened. Mom's contracting. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, we need to go find out what time it is, but we need to calm down. Get the thing ready. Hurry, run. What time is it? 
Okay, hey, how you doing, babe? You doing good? It's 3.40? 3.40. 3.40, okay. Oh, I forgot the stopwatch. Oh my gosh, I'm already failing. Okay, I started the stopwatch. I'm like 10 seconds late, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're a little behind, but it's okay. I failed again already. <laughs> but we failed round one. We did fail round one. How you doing? You good? Good. I'm good. She's still smiling, so yeah. So it's not too bad. Yeah, not we're still hard. early. We're still early in the process. We probably still have a while to go. Yeah. We need some calm music. Whoa. Okay, now we're done. That contraction was one minute and thirty-one seconds, which that's a good contraction, right? That's pretty good. So they're about how many minutes apart, Liv, from contraction two to three? Um, seven. Seven minutes apart, yeah. and they're starting to get pretty big about that one. So now we just got to make sure this that we keep a good list. This one was 29 seconds, and this one was... And then how many do you think we should do of that? You're going to need to do it for an hour. For an hour long. So part. the reason okay. why we want to try and like time it out and do all this stuff at home is because I'm hoping to just kind of go into the hospital right towards the end. I don't want to be like sitting in the hospital for 24 hours. hours waiting for the contractions to get stronger. I'd rather just labor at home first. So that's why we're trying to like learn this part. Okay, girls, I feel like we did a pretty good job. We got coached really well. We still have a lot of training to do, but yeah. we're gonna do that off camera. We have the hospital bag packed. Dad bag. We got our training done. I think we're ready for baby brother to get here. Okay, Dad. you guys go play. I'm gonna finish uh, my training. Okay while uh, you guys play and have fun. All right guys, we are gonna end today's video. Yeah. Girls, what did we learn today? That we need to be quiet. Calm. Calm. We need to make fast. sure we write down the minutes on this thing. Thank you guys again for watching this channel. If you are not subscribed, what are they doing? Subscribe it. Subscribe it. Like. You guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video. I think Natalia asked or Peyton asked or something for how many likes? 20? 25,000 likes. 25,000 likes? Like this video, please. <laughs> you guys made it this far in the video and you haven't liked the video, like it. It helps us share it mm -hmm. to everyone out there. So thank you guys for everyone. doing that. We are officially on Baby Watch. Do you guys know that means that the baby brother could literally be here? Like officially, like it could happen baby, tonight it or it could happen? happen tomorrow or the next day, but it could literally happen right now. We well, could be going to the hospital right now. Not. We don't know. Belly's very small. It's, she didn't, yeah, she's just got a belly and she's tired. Let's let mommy get some sleep. Let's let baby get some sleep. <laughs> we will see you guys in our next video. Peace. Peace.